Hey Pi community developers! Today we'll be going over a PyOS licensed app prototype that you can use in the PyCommerce Hackathon starting February 1st. PyFest in December saw over 21,000 submissions of businesses accepting Pi across 155 countries and regions. Pioneers took extraordinary effort to go around town and locate these businesses. Imagine there were an app that helped pioneers easily find these businesses accepting Pi. How much would it uplift Pi Commerce, the use of Pi in local businesses around the world by our pioneers, thereby creating another utility of the Pi cryptocurrency? This preliminary prototype, created by the PyCore team, illustrates how such an app can be designed. Community developers are encouraged to take inspiration from this design and adapt it to fit their local needs and their own design preferences. Let's take a look at the app. Here I can see a map with two businesses around me. On top there is the name of the app and on the top right I can see the language button. I'm comfortable with English, that's what I'm selecting here. Now let's explore the app first from the perspective of a business accepting Pi and then from a pioneer's perspective. I am a pioneer business person and I want to add my business to this app. I enter my name, the business type, which is a coffee shop, location, and menu here, so pioneers can see the menu even before they get to my business. This can be turned on and off. I can enable Pi transactions where pioneers can put in their orders online and also pay in Pi on this app. Or I can also allow pioneers to put in their orders on the app, but come and pay Pi in person later. I want to add an item to my menu. It's going to be a latte with a nice picture, price in Pi, how long it takes to prepare the meal, description, and there is my item. There is also a loyalty cart that I can turn on. Now, app developers should understand that you can design a variety of loyalty programs between pioneers and businesses. This loyalty card is an example of what you can do. Here, I am going to provide one flat white for free when pioneers come to my business and do transactions seven times. Each time they come, I stamp, I give them a stamp, and after seven times, they get one flat white for free. On the profile, I can also add photos of the business. And I can get a QR code, which I can print and put on the counter of my business. This way, pioneers can come and they can scan this QR code, and then they will be taken directly to the app to my business profile. Let's take a look. After I have created a business profile, this page acts as a summary of my business. Here, when Pioneers come, because I have designed a loyalty program, when Pioneers come, I can scan their QR code so that I can keep track of how many stamps they've collected. I can also see a summary of orders, pending orders, as well as historical orders. And that was my business profile. Now let's see how Pioneers experience the app. On the bottom right, I can click on this icon and it takes me to the place on the map where I am. I can see there's a restaurant and there's a coffee shop around me. I just woke up. I want to get my coffee. Let me look at the coffee shop. I go here. I see some items on the menu. I like cappuccino. I'm going to add this to the shopping cart. And then I am going to pay with Pi. This coffee shop has also enabled a stamp-based loyalty program. So far, I have collected four stamps, and this tells me that if I collect two more, if I come to this business two more time and pay 
and conduct a transaction with them, then I can get a free cup of tea. So I will remember to come here two more times. That was the coffee shop. I had a nice cappuccino. It's lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. I want to go to this restaurant. There is a delicious risotto on the menu and a curry. I can't really pick between the two and I'm feeling pretty hungry. You know what? I will get both of them. You can see here that unlike the coffee shop, here you can order online, but you pay with Pi in person at the restaurant. I go to the shopping cart, place the order. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes. It's saying that the order will start soon. Now it gives me a timer. It takes about half an hour for the order to get ready. I'm at the business, the order is ready, and now I can pay with Pi. And I have a full stomach. We've looked at the prototype from the experience of businesses and pioneers. Developers, this can be an incredible app for pioneers around the world and pioneers in a locality to find businesses accepting Pi. All the best on the Pi Commerce Hackathon. We are very excited to see what you build.